The White House wants less addictive cigarettes, and the FDA wants to kick Juul e-cigarettes to the curb. This week, the White House rolled out its plan to reduce the amount of nicotine in cigarettes. The Food and Drug Administration regulates the tobacco industry, and the White House wants the FDA to create a product standard to establish a maximum nicotine level in cigarettes. Nicotine is not what makes cigarettes so deadly, but it is what makes them so addictive. Smoking kills 480,000 Americans every year, and President Joe Biden made reducing cancer deaths an administration priority when he announced his cancer moonshot campaign in February. It could take up to a year for the FDA to come up with a proposed rule to create the maximum nicotine levels in cigarettes. But it might only be days before the FDA rules on another nicotine delivery system, Juul's e-cigarettes. Juul used to sell fruity and sweet-flavored e-cigs, a practice which led to lawsuits claiming Juul was marketing to minors. Juul cut back its product line and has been fighting to keep menthol and tobacco-flavored products on the market. But the Wall Street Journal is reporting the FDA might announce the removal of all Juul products from the market in the coming days.